Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Connection Time News. I'm Carlos Nike. And I'm Aaron Potashnik. This week, our first story features a bunch of Stanford High student athletes. That's right, Aaron. On Wednesday, November 8th, Stanford High honored a group of athletes in the college signing ceremony in the small auditorium. Jorge Perdomo, Tony and Ferraro, and Kelly Jagosinski were on site to speak to these athletes about some of their accomplishments. Jorge? On Wednesday, November 8th, Stanford High honored some of our student athletes with the signing ceremony in the small auditorium. Eight athletes and counting have signed to play division sports. Uh, Dan Colazzo, I'm committed to UMass Boston. Nico Cardi, I'm committed to UMass Boston. How does it feel to officially commit to UMass Boston? Uh, it feels good. It was I've been playing baseball my whole life and really happy I can continue to play. How does it feel to officially commit to High Point? Uh, it just feels very like relaxing. I don't have to stress anymore about where I'm going to be playing. So, Alexa Kounder committed to UMass Amherst for basketball. How does it feel to officially commit to UMass? Um, it feels really good. I finally get to enjoy my senior year. I'm here with... Stephen Phelps. I committed to LaSalle College for lacrosse. And where did you just commit to? University of Bridgeport. What are your goals for the next four years? Um, well, of course, it's got to be school. I mean, I, I want to graduate with, you know, a with a degree. But I'm very focused on baseball. I would love to continue to play baseball after college, and that's... That's where I'm going. How do you think the adjustment from high school sports to college sports will be like? It'll be a tough transition. The level of play in college is a lot more difficult, but I'm going to keep working hard to try to make a smooth transition and make my contribution to the team. What are your goals for the next four years? My goals are to play at the best of my ability, keep working hard, and hopefully I'd like to take LaSalle to a national championship. Uh, Chris Medias, I committed to Keene State College for uh, men's lacrosse. How does it feel to officially commit? Um, it feels really good because now I don't have anything else to do for senior year to really get ready because everybody is running around trying to figure out what colleges they need to apply to, what to get in. Like Some people haven't even taken their SATs yet, and I feel like I'm already done with senior year. Hi, I'm Kelly Jagosinski. I'm here with Sydney Leeds. And where did you commit? <laughs> Merrimack College, <laughs> lacrosse. How does it feel to officially commit to Merrimack? Um, it's very relieving and like feels just awesome. <laughs> Kelly's fire. So Sydney, um, what do you think the biggest adjustment is going to be from transitioning from the high school sector to the NCAA sector for sports? Mm, the commitment level and like the competition level as a whole. Um, definitely a lot of talent out there. Thanks, Jorge. Nice to see Andrea take it to the next level. She's a really talented athlete. And what about the other kids who signed? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Anyway, let's move on to a really creative fundraiser that debuted this year. That sounds good, Carlos. You must be talking about paint night. I am, indeed. This event benefited the sophomore class, and it seemed like a big success. Ivy Zingoni, Shayna Druckmann, and Emma Sharma have more. Ivy? On Friday, October 13th, the class of 2020 hosted a paint night fundraiser in the cafeteria for SHS students, faculty members, and families. We all agreed that it would be a good idea, especially like, you know, the end of a stressful week, like just like to take off all the pressure because, you know, that's what painting is. <laughs> class of 2020 advisor and history teacher Tiffany Clark proposed the idea for the event, which was based on the sip and paint concept where people are guided through a painting while enjoying refreshments. SHS art teacher Kim Wheeler led the group step by step in painting a scenic landscape using a variety of techniques. In addition to the painting activity, there was music, a raffle, and plenty of fall themed snacks. Some stuck with the guided painting while others created their own original works. No matter what they painted, everyone seemed very calm and focused. Um, I feel the turnout was uh, pretty good. We had uh, quite a bit of people here. Um, it was a great event. I'm sure everyone had a nice time. Overall, paint night was a success, raising $900 towards the sophomore class. Hey Carlos, do you even remember your freshman year anymore? I, I don't even remember what happened five minutes ago, to be honest. Oh, I remember. You were messing up the skit about the paint night. Okay, just trying to make a point. But anyway, no, I don't remember freshman year. Why do you ask? Well, we had some reporters go around talking to some of Stanford High's newest Black Knights about whether or not SHS is everything they expected. Here we go. Favorite teacher. Thank Mr. Bucket, the gym teacher, because he's funny and he's cool to talk to. Um, probably Mr. Lewis, my bio teacher. Miss Pucci, my bio teacher. What are your thoughts on the schedule and lunch waves? 
you gotta get there like first to get in line. Like if you if you get there late, then you're not gonna get lunch. It's over. <laughs> lunch can be crowded at times, and the first day I was kind of confused about the schedule. <laughs> like the rotating schedule at first is really confusing, and lunch is always really crowded. Are there any clubs you guys are interested in joining? Basketball and debate club because I like to talk a lot. Um, I don't really know any of the clubs because I'm doing a sport right now, but I want to join one. A uh, drama club. So what do you guys think about the people at Stanford High? The, <laughs> they're sort of friendly, <laughs> I guess. There's a lot of different people. They're interesting. <laughs> Have you guys heard about the 10th floor pool? What? There's a 10 floor pool? Yeah. I want to swim in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. It's not a thing. It's not real. Oh. Are you guys positive? Yeah. I've been asked to find it. Are you, for, are you for real? I, I don't know. You want to swim in it? Yeah. It's high. Are you still friends with your middle school friends? Yeah, but they don't go here because they went to Trinity and they go to Trinity High, so. I don't see them as often, but I still talk with them. I don't see them as much, but I am friends with a few of them. What was your expectation of Stanford High? Not so. It's to be a good school. It's like it's like half and then half actually a good school. I mean, I've heard a lot of bad things about Stanford High, but it's better than I expected. It's a lot better than I expected it to be. What were you guys expecting Stanford High to be like? Uh, crazy. Like big. Um, a lot of fights. Were you guys scared to come here? Yeah. No. What's the biggest change been from middle school to high school? Um, probably the homework. Um, in middle school there weren't a lot of tall people. Do you have a favorite subject? Sci-fi fantasy. <laughs> Crafts. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to this year? summer to pass <laughs> are you guys in any teams or clubs milk milk what was your expectation of Stanford High my expectation that it was gonna be really difficult to like find my classes cuz I heard so many things about it and I thought I was gonna get lost and then yeah do you still have any uh, middle school friends yeah, I have my two friends, Ariana and Rachel, from middle school, and we were in the same advisory, so um, we have lunch waves together, but not any classes. Um, do you like your schedule so far? Yeah, I like my teachers, and the people in it are cool. Like, they're new, but, like, it's fine. Do you have a favorite teacher? Um, I like Mr. Kaza. He's cool. What was your expectation of Stanford High? I don't know. <laughs> Mostly, I thought it would be fun, but stairs. Yeah, I'm afraid of stairs. Um, yeah, a lot of stairs. Well, it's, I think it's also fun, but it's really big. Who's your favorite teacher? I don't have one. Mr. Kaza. Uh, Miss Clark. Do you guys know about the 10th floor pool? No. There's a pool? Yeah. <gasps> no. Um, are there any club you guys are interested in joining? Nope. What's that? What? Are there any clubs you're interested in joining? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, yeah, dancing. No. Hey, did you get a chance to check out that new iPhone 10? I thought it was the iPhone X. Well, it's not. It's the iPhone 10. Anyways, have you seen it? No, but like, why would somebody spend a thousand dollars to get a phone for glass back? I mean, people know how clumsy we are. But you're still gonna get one now. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, if you're thinking about dropping a grand on the new iPhone, be sure to check out our reviews on shsroundtable.com. We had two reporters going head-to-head -head analyzing some of the phone's best and worst features. Like the awesome new facial recognition software. Sure, or the terrible glass back. Yeah, that too. Anyways, the Roundtable has everything you need to know before you head to the Apple Store. Or stay home. Whatever. Let's talk about something else, though. Sure, I got a topic for you, Aaron. I hear you are a good dancer. Yeah, my mommy told me so. Well, she's wrong, but a lot of other people we interviewed for the next video weren't that much better. True story. Anyways, enjoy this little segment, which we like to call Go To Dance Moves.
Sorry. Can you show us your go-to dance moves? In New York, I'm in and he said he can't dance. What's your go-to dance move? Sometimes you just gotta like, like you gotta be abstract. You gotta break it out. You gotta... Quick with it. Oh wait. Can you show us your go-to dance move? My go-to dance? Oh, I got about three of them. My go-to dance move. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can you show us your go to dance move? Right, that's just the way. Alex, can you show us your go to dance move? Look at my down. Man, I go to work. True winner. Jean skinny like school. Can you show us your go to dance move? What's your go-to dance move? Can you show us your go-to dance move? Well, first of all, you know, I, I used to be a professional dancer before education, so um, I've got to limber up a little bit first. It's a nice stretch. Thanks. Nice. Don't, don't judge me. Okay. Are you ready? ready? Yeah. Not unused, you ought to be loved <laughs> by anyone. That was nice. I like it. What's your go-to dance move? What's your go to dance move? Go to dance move? Take that and rewind it back. What's your go to dance move? Um. Time for an update on the world of student journalism. That's right, Aaron. We don't usually cover ourselves, but the roundtable has some interesting news to report. Oh, you must be talking about our new radio segment. I am. Starting this month, the roundtable reporters will be contributing a monthly segment to WGCH, a local radio station. And you can catch the segment on the second Thursday of every month, either live at 1490 AM or streaming online at WGCH.com. We'll be offering the outside world a little window into Stanford High School. And why would they want to see that? It's a good question, but thing though all right that's all we got for this week's edition of connection time news we'll see you again on december 11th for more of the same i'm carl sneke and i'm aaron Potashnik. Thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching. okay that's all for this take a deep breath right, right, right before right. you start <laughs> take a deep breath we'll do we'll get this all right We'll see you all again on December 11th from uh, December 11th. All right, 11th. December 11th. It's a month and a, and a day. Yes. All right.